Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am going to do a tag video for you guys. I got tagged by Louis Vuitton Coffee Lover to do the tag video about my most used, least used and cutest bags from my collection. So before I start, I do want to mention that I am filming today on my iPhone 11 Pro. My husband wanted me to try uh, the the camera out, uh, the recording out today for this video. This is the front facing video. So if you guys like the quality of this video, please comment below and let me know because I'm very curious in how this is going to turn out. It is quite a, a handy device to have if you are doing vlogging or videos like this on the fly and you don't want to use a big camera. Right, collection. Now I'm picking bags from my collection that I had before our things from Australia arrived. As you can see in the background here, I have furniture now. So our things finally arrived last Tuesday. So it has been crazy, crazy, crazy here, trying to unpack uh, lots of stuff that we don't need, things that we're throwing away. And it's, yeah, so it's, this is the space that I could find to do my video right now. So I hope that's all right with you guys. But anyways, let's get started. So my very, so my first bag will be my, the one that I use the most. And this is one that I use every day to go to work, especially because I work in a pharmacy as a pharmacy technician. And I have to put my bag in the break room because the lockers are kind of in a public area. So I didn't really want to put them there. So I, I had to find one that would fit into cupboards, under desks and things like that to hide, right? So this is my most used. This is my Louis Vuitton Speedy 25. This is the classic, this is my vintage bag. So this bag is 26 years old. Uh, it's in fantastic condition. I got it for a brilliant price. Uh, it did require the zipper slider here to be fixed, uh, replaced. The zipper was fine. I just had to get the slider be, uh, redone because it had snapped completely off. And I took it to a local cobbler. He was able to replace it for me. So it works just fine. I also added some screw back D rings from Amazon. I might do a video showing you guys how I did this because this has changed, totally changed this bag for me. I can attach a, a strap and wear this crossbody over my shoulder. So I do actually use this a lot when I'm not at work because it is so comfortable and it's just, it fits everything I need in here. As you can see, the vaquetta is quite um, brown and this is mainly because, well, because it's old and it did have a nice honey patina or a patina to it, probably past the honey stage, more into the brown stage, which is fine. I love that. But I also treated this uh, with, with some URAD and some conditioner. I used Brasso on the hardware and got that all shiny, including the lock here, which I can't take off because I don't have the key because this is, of course, pre-loved and it didn't come with a key, but that's okay. And one of the other reasons I do take this bag to work is because they do have to check my bag every time I leave. It's part of their security protocols and this bag is so easy just to open up like this and they can see right inside I do have a base shaper on the bottom here that I got from Amazon as well and it's fantastic because it just adds a little bit of shape to the bottom here it's like this so this is my most used bag and I love 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 this bag I would probably use it every day if I didn't feel guilty about not using my other bags right on to my least used bag now, this is a bag that I got recently and I did a unboxing or yeah, and kind of review video for you guys. And I have literally used this bag once and it's not because I don't like it. It's because it's, it's a big bag and I just don't use big bags. I'm not even sure why I got it. I think I just wanted to try it out, but here it is. It is the Daisy Rose Amazon tote. This is kind of a dupe of the Louis Vuitton Neverfull um, MM in the Damier Ben. And it is really, really nice. It's very comfortable. It's got a really nice red interior here. Nice quality. Nothing wrong with it. It's really nice. And I'll, I'll keep it because I think I'm going to use it more in the summer maybe for when we go on like um, to the beach or the park or something and I can just chuck things in. But I don't carry very much. So things kind of float around here. I think I do have an organizer coming that I'm going to try with this bag. But yeah, so I just, I just don't use this much. I think I've used it once. <laughs> yeah, as I said, I've used it once. And it is beautiful, but it's definitely my least used bag in my collection before my bags from Australia got here because I have so many of those. I'll have to do another video on that. Okay, to my cutest bag. This was the hardest one to pick because 
I have a few that are classic that I got from Australia recently, but I don't want to include those in the video because it's not fair. I haven't had them for, you know, well, they've been gone for five months. So I did pick one that I got recently from another one from Amazon and I have used it, I think once or twice. And it is kind of cute. It's a small bag. So, you know, here it is here. It's another Amazon um, purchase. I guess it's kind of a dupe of the Louis Vuitton um, pochette accessoire, but I think it's a different shape. And I have to say, I'm pretty impressed with this bag so far. It's pretty well made for a bag that only literally cost me 50 cents because I had some Amazon store card uh, bucks that I was able to use. So after I paid <laughs> shipping and everything, I think this bag, yeah, was literally like 50 cents. And I was like, you know, why not? It's a really nice bag to take when I'm just going out with hubby or by myself. Uh, it comes with a short strap here that's attached on one side. And I have to say the uh, D-rings and everything on here and the hardware is actually really nice. It's not, it doesn't feel cheap. This doesn't feel stiff. It feels quite soft and pliable. And then this side here, you can just un unclip it and take it off like this. And then it comes with another strap that you just attach like this. So you kind of attach, there's a hole here and you attach it like this, like that. And this actually goes over the top of all of this onto the other side like that. And that holds that tab down. And then this just attaches to with a really nice swivel D ring, um, lobster clip to the gold hard run that side. And now it's a crossbody bag. So I thought it was pretty cool. I actually wore it as a crossbody bag yesterday. And as you can, I'll give you another close up of the hardware. I think that's the hardware is really, really nice. It's not flimsy. It doesn't feel cheap. Uh, the tab here is the faux leather, but it's, it's a really nice tab too. This is the only thing that bugs me is this thing that flew out here. And I have tried, you can tuck it in, but for me, it makes it difficult to open and close it. It's easier if it's open like this because you can hold it and just close it. The inside has a, like a brown kind of silky lining. It's really nice. This says miracle right there. So you do have a slit, a, a zipper pocket back here that does have gold hardware and a gold uh, zipper pull. Really nice. And then there's a slit pocket at the front here that fits my phone perfectly, my iPhone 11 Pro. So this is probably my cutest bag in my collection at the moment. I do have, as I said, I do have some other classic ones that I could have included, but those are from Australia. I don't know how long this is going to last. I mean, the the trim here, that's actually quite thick. I think it looks really nice, but of course it could peel. It could like wear away the, uh, I guess, synthetic canvas or whatever this is here, material. It feels nice. It doesn't feel stiff. Some of the other ones I've gotten from Amazon, like, like this type of material, I've had to return. There's a very quick video for you guys. So my three bags, most used, least used and cutest. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you're a returning subscriber, thanks for watching and joining me again, guys. And I will see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.